Hey there, it's your favorite remote work enthusiast, Delilah. Happy Friday. I love a good Friday, okay? It's a good Friday because, you know, there's some weeks where it's like you're doing so much and you're just ready for the weekend. And that's me today. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are ready for the weekend, but you have a little bit of time to hear about a hot non-phone work from home opportunity. And this is from another new to this channel company. All right, go ahead and hit that like button because I've been finding these non-phone opportunities and I've been finding these new companies for you guys left and right. So before we really get on into it, we also have to take care of business. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and you tap that notification bell so that you can be one of the first to watch these hot leads. I share them every single week day and they go really fast so you have to hurry on over here as soon as you get the notification and once you take care of that business we'll be ready to jump in okay so like i said new company and it's another non-phone work from home opportunity and this company is called us acute care solutions now this company is a physician owned company and i can't really do justice to explain it because i'm not super familiar with some of the terms but it says that they are an integrated acute care including emergency medicine hospitalist and observation services services and they provide high quality emergency and hospitalist care to over 6 million patients annually at more than 200 locations in 22 states and they're aligned with leading hospital systems across the country. So that's what they do. All right. <laughs> now this is their home page and they've got a lot more information here. They've got all of that info plus some. I just happened to jump over to their glass door so you could get a look at it as well. And they have a great non-phone position available that I know you guys are going to enjoy. This is for their credentialing specialist position. And according to their glass store, it's going to pay about $20 per hour. Now, really quickly, you may have noticed, wow, Delilah, there's a lot of non-phone opportunities within the healthcare industry. And you have observed correctly. Yes, I've mentioned it before, but I will mention it again because there's always new folks coming around. Healthcare has a lot of different positions. You can do pretty much anything within the healthcare industry. And if you're looking for things that don't really require heavy phone use, then healthcare might be a safe bet. And there are a lot of non-certified type positions, but you need experience. And then there's also positions that would require like education and a certification or something like that, that offer non-phone positions. You know me, I am a big advocate for education, especially when it can help you earn more. If you find that you like healthcare and you're seeing a lot of opportunities that require some type of education, but you don't have it, you know, look into getting it, okay? Or get on with a company that offers tuition assistance or tuition reimbursement, whatever, so that you can get your education through a company and they'll foot the bill. So there's a lot of ways you can do that, okay? You know, just think, be strategic. Don't worry about how you're gonna pay for certain stuff or if there's money in the budget. You know, just think about solutions to any issues you may come across and that'll help you come up with those solutions, okay? There's a lot of ways you can do things. There's more than one way, okay? So getting on into it, it says, where do you belong? Your career is more than just a job, it's part of your life, whether you're a clinician or non-clinical professional. At USACS, you'll feel a sense of connection working with clinicians and office staff who share your interests and values. We want you to love coming to work each day because you believe in what you do and the people with whom you work. We care about your success. USACS also understands that location is important. We offer career opportunities for clinicians and non-clinical support staff from New York to Hawaii and numerous points in between. Our supportive culture, outstanding benefits, and competitive compensation package is best in class. Job description. The credentialing representative is responsible for gathering and verifying clinicians' information. Primary methods of researching information include phone, internet, faxes, emails, and letters. This position is designed to support the clinicians in acquiring proper documentation and coordinating the hospital privilege process. Essential job functions. Facilitate the initial 
credential and reappointment hospital credentialing privileging process for new and existing physicians and advanced practice providers. Work closely with hospital medical staff office and state licensing boards to ensure providers can begin working by his her contracted start date. Prepare state, hospital, and USACS required written supervision and collaborative agreements for advanced practice providers, facilitating completion, submission, and or properly housing completed documents. Coordinate medical licensing processes, including application preparation, submission, maintenance, and renewals. Follow up and maintain effective communication with clinicians, hospital medical staff offices, and state licensing boards to ensure the necessary information is gathered and processed within specific time constraints. Identify, research, and resolve licensing and credentialing issues. Responsible for communicating any potential start date delays, providers, department leadership, and medical director in a timely manner. Partner with provider enrollment, risk management, legal, and scheduling to validate and supplement application content and to ensure clinicians are privileged according to contracted start date prior to first clinical shift. Record detailed notes in credentialing database spreadsheets to track current application status for individual and department utilization. Identify emerging issues and communicate to credentialing team lead and or manager with recommendations for resolutions. Collect hospital and insurance carrier required credentialing documents from providers and properly enter information in credentialing database. Other special projects as assigned. Knowledge, skills, and abilities. Strong analytical and problem solving skills. Strong communication and interpersonal skills. Ability to organize and prioritize jobs task and requirements, ability to effectively perform in a multitask work environment, excellent organization skills with the ability to prioritize assigned duties in an efficient amount of time, ability to effectively use oral and written communication skills with clinicians, external agencies, and management in a courteous and professional manner, must have knowledge of correct English, proper grammar, and spelling, knowledge and skills in using personal computers, Windows, with a strong emphasis on Microsoft Office programs, Outlook, Word, Excel, and Adobe Acrobat, ability to maintain patience and composure in different situations, ability to work well under pressure and meet strict deadlines, ability to maintain confidentiality, ability to pay close attention to detail and produce extremely accurate work, ability to exhibit a commitment to teamwork, supporting alignment with company and department goals and objectives, assisting others to develop their knowledge of the company and department, and adapting to changes in a positive manner. Education and experience, high school diploma or equivalent, knowledge of hospital-based credentialing preferred, two years office experience or college coursework preferred. So that is the entire lead. And if you notice all the duties that they mention, like the essential job functions and the knowledge and skills all refer to being really good at typing, knowing the computer well, knowing Microsoft Office programs well. And yes, they did mention up here something about including a phone. But guess what? Every single job requires you to communicate. And this isn't a call center job. This isn't where you're fielding customer phone calls. This is where you are researching the information to verify clinicians and providing that info. And you might have to sometimes get on a phone. Oh my goodness. To just, you know, stop doing the back and forth email and get down to the bottom of something. So non-phone doesn't mean never a phone. It means you're not in a call center environment and the majority of your work is going to be typing computer based but you know what we still got to communicate so i just want to point that out okay just so you guys have the right expectations and this is a great opportunity so for anyone who's ever worked in a hospital setting office setting maybe you've done some type of administrative work before and especially if you've ever worked in credentialing get your application in asap this is a hot one and the apply button is at the top here and don't forget i have so many free resources for you guys to help you with your online job search the links are in the description box and the pinned comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.